more than 50 days since the historic floods, the recovery process is almost complete for a handful of capital city businesses. Four are reopening tomorrow, and their owners say it has taken a lot of work for them to get there. ABC 22's Matt Holderman spoke with some of them today, and he joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Yeah, Lauren, that's exactly right. Well, weeks of exhaustion is now finally turning into excitement for the owners and workers at these shops, as all of them are on Main Street between Blanchard Court and State Street. Of course, a very hard hit area, and they're now among some of the first damaged stores in Vermont's capital city to reopen. It's slowly been getting better since then, but it's felt slow <laughs> and it's been a lot of hard work to get it to this point. Nearly two months of around the clock rebuilding is finally about to pay off for several businesses in downtown Montpelier. I think it'll help the town a little normalcy back to being, you know, what you know Montpelier was. Friday morning, September 1st, will mark the official reopening for Bear Pond Books, Capital Stationers, Notion Fabric and Craft, and Splash Naturals, four businesses within just 100 feet of each other that were all several feet underwater in mid-July. The worst part of it all was the beginning with the puddle, the, you know, books floating in puddles and mud everywhere and just taking in all the destruction. Owners of the businesses say the last 50 50 days or so have been complete rebuilds from putting in new floors, new walls and new electric components to purchasing new furniture and restocking inventory. There were a couple times we questioned if we were making the right decision <laughs> in building, but we uh, there was no question we had to do it. We've been very fortunate. We have a very good landlord who came in and did the floors, the walls right away. 30-40% of our inventory back. I'm hoping within another three weeks, say mid-September, that we'll be fully back up and running. Now they've spent the last few days working on finishing touches and can't wait to show off their new looks to their loyal customers and community members. A lot of people are like, I'll be there first thing when you open. So I think we're going to have a lot of people here. I think it's going to be really festive, fun atmosphere. And um, we're just looking forward to the party. We're very excited to see uh, see some old, old and new customers again. And both those owners I spoke with also want to thank the community for helping them rebuild. They noted that about 50 days is a pretty quick rebuild time, all things considered, and they say they would not have been able to reopen this fast without everyone's support. Now, Capital Stationers will open at 9 tomorrow morning, and uh, Bear, uh, excuse me, that's uh, Bear Pond Books will be opening at 10, and I do think the other stores are looking at similar opening times tomorrow morning as well. But for now, live in the newsroom, Matt Holderman, ABC 20. 22 News.